This module will cover the steps to add a note. Included in this is choosing the correct note type, navigation within the note, and bringing previously tagged items into the note. There are two ways to add a note. One is to use the Create Note function at the bottom of the workflow page, and the other is to click Add in the Provider Documentation section in the main menu. On the left-hand side of the new note screen, you will see the note type list filter. The filter should be set to position so that only those note types you will need will display. Notice the yellow field under type. It is very important that you select the correct note type to ensure that your note is found easily by your colleagues and filed correctly in clinical notes. You will be unable to sign your note without completing this field. Below the note type, you'll see the title. The title defaults in based on the template chosen. On the right-hand side of the screen are all the available templates. They are alphabetized by specialty. A template that you'll use frequently can be saved as a favorite by clicking the star adjacent to that template. All starred favorites will be listed under the Favorites tab at the top of the section. Click on that tab. This will now become your default screen when accessing dynamic documentation templates. To select a template, always make sure you click once on the title, not the star, as this will result in removing the template from your favorites. We should mention that there is a blank template included in the list entitled Free Text Note. If you choose to complete your documentation using a Free Text Note, it is important to change the title to a more specific note name. Otherwise, Free Text Note will remain as the title. Once all fields have been completed within the new note screen and you have highlighted the desired template in blue, click OK to open the template. For training purposes, we have chosen the Medical Admission History and Physical template. Once the template opens, you'll notice that data is being pulled into your note dynamically. Both template layout and specific data population was determined by each specialty department head engaged in this project. As mentioned in Module 1, any data you chose to tag as you reviewed the patient's chart will appear to the left of the template. You may have tagged multiple lab values and or diagnostic results. Each result is added individually to your note by a drag and drop method. Left click and hold on the tagged result, then drag it over to the desired section in your note. Look for the blue dotted lines to appear. Release the mouse and drop the result within these lines. A footnote number will appear next to any tagged text. Reference information related to that footnote will appear at the bottom of your note. Please note, tagged items can be removed from your note using the Undo button in the toolbar at the top of the note. The result will again display in the Tagged Items clipboard to the left of the template. Should you decide you don't want to include a tagged item in your note, it can be removed from the clipboard by clicking the X to the right of the result. Now let's take a look at the actual layout of this template. Notice there is a two-column format with the Assessment and Plan section in the upper right column allowing for a quicker review and less scrolling. Templates are broken down into sections. As you look over this template, you will see sections that are pre-populated with data and sections that have been left blank for free text or dictation. Chief Complaint is an example of a blank section. Place your cursor in the white field just beneath the heading and begin typing or dictating. Review of Systems has been pre-populated with a negative review. Some of the review may not be appropriate for your patient. Place your cursor at the end of the text you want removed and backspace or Highlight the text and use the backspace button to remove. 
When using drag and dictation, you can dictate directly over highlighted text to correct. Multiple X's can be found within each section. The X found within and to the right of a section will remove all contents within a section. The section heading remains. The X found to the right of the section heading will remove the entire section, including the heading. If you inadvertently remove something from your template, you can restore the information by clicking on the Undo button in the toolbar at the top of the note. There are two additional icons within each section located to the right of the heading. The Refresh icon updates the section with any new data. For instance, if additional lab values have been resulted since opening the template, clicking the Refresh icon in the lab section will pull in these results. The Bent Arrow icon moves your cursor to the end of the last line of text within a section. By clicking Enter, you can complete any additional documentation within that section. As in any Word document, you can move around the template by using the mouse to place your cursor in any section. You can also use the Tab key to navigate from section to section. Some sections were built with multiple underscores. The time spent section located in the bottom right hand side of this template is a good example. Using the F3 key, you can quickly move from underscore to underscore, adding documentation if appropriate. While in the process of creating your note, there may be a need to leave the template to review data from another part of the chart. Always remember to use the back arrow to the right of the menu bar to return to your documentation. This completes the module on adding a note and template navigation.